Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, I am going to show you bitwise operators. So I've got a variable right here, got the value, I mean, it should be 84, not negative 84, got 84 assigned to it, and I've got it written out here in comments what the binary equivalent is. So bitwise operators allow you to change the value on a binary level. So the first operator is shift left. And this just shifts all the binary digits to the left by you know a certain amount of spaces. You can specify that. So if I do print line, do x dot shl plus shift left, and if I say one, this will just shift it all to the left. And uh, so that just means it becomes like this. Sort out the formatting. And this one is obviously just zero and well, so we should get 128 plus 32, 260 plus 8, which is 168. Okay, and I think you can guess we can do a shift to the right as well. So shift right versus FHR. Again, you can choose how many jumps you want to do. I'll copy this, paste it here. This needs to jump like so. And 32 plus 8 plus 2 is 42. So a shift to the right will make the number 42. Next, we are going to look at the bitwise and or and XOR operators. So for that, I'm going to create two variables. So var num1 equals 78 for example var num2 equals about 118 doesn't really matter what the numbers are they can be as small or as large as you want and i'm going to do print ln okay so the next one is our comment it bitwise or and if i do print ln I'll do num1 dot all num2 and let's run this and see what we get. So we get a value of 126 and you might be thinking now how is this getting it? If you add them up you get 196, if you take them away you're not kidding, you know you, you get like negative 40, like how are they even doing it? The additions on a binary level. So if I, so I'll just copy this out. So this is going to be the number 28. I mean, this one is sorry. So I just need to, you know, figure out what it is in binary. So one, the zero there, the one here, the one here. I think that's it really. 64 plus eight is eight is 72. 76, 78. Okay, so we've got 78 in binary. Let's get 118 in binary now. So 1 plus 96. That's like 112. Not that. So I think that's it for 118. So 2, 4, let me 2, 6, 22, 54, 118. Yeah. Okay, so when you do the AND operator, I will just put a bunch of these just for formatting. So when you do the bitwise operator, I mean the, the uh, actually I wanted to do the AND operator first. I'll do the AND operator first. So the bitwise AND, it just goes through it and it just checks if both bits are on or not. And so here is zero and zero, that's zero. Both bits are not on. Are both bits on here? One and one, yes. Only one bit's on here. So this will result in zero. This will result in zero. This will result in zero. This will result in one. This will result in one. This will result in zero. So this total answer is 64 plus 4 plus 2, which is 70. 
and the 126 will for the ore operator so if I run it again we should get 70 there we go the ore operator is the same process so if I say bitwise ore but instead only one of them needs to be on so this is still zero both of them are on that's fine so one but this will change to a one this will change to a one this will change to a one this will remain as one this will be zero because none of them are on only one of them needs to be on with all so if i say all this should be uh, it, it, it's done and so it's 64 plus 32 96 plus 16 is 112 plus 8 is 120 plus 4 plus 2 is 126 so if i run it we should get 126 okay almost there just two more bitwise operators i want to show you the next is the bitwise xor which is exclusive or so exclusive or and it's just xor here and what that means is only one of the bits can be on if both bits are on it'll return false if both bits are off it'll return false if the first bit is on second bit is off it'll return true the first bit is off and the second bit is on it'll return true so zero and zero still zero one on one you can't have both of them on so you have to do zero there this is obviously also zero this will return one because only one of them is on same for this whereas this will just return zero so let's add it up 32 plus 16 is 48 plus 8 is 56 and that's it that's our number if we do an XOR operation and the final one I want to show you is the bitwise inverse and I think you can guess what this does it literally just inverses the bits and what you don't actually do it along any other sort of calculation but if we just do it for num1 where there's a zero you get a one where there's a one you get a zero so one one you get a zero here we'll zero here zero here that we'll one so let's add it up it should literally just be 255 minus 78 which what gives you 100 and like 255 take away 70 is 185 take away 100 yeah 185 take away 8 is 177 so let's calculate if that's right 128 plus 32 is 160 176 177 yes there we go and the method for this is just inv but you don't pass any parameters because it just flips the bits that's all it does no matter how small or large the number is and it has flipped them so just flipped it to negative 179 oh yeah it's you know it's inverse the sign bit as well so that's just something to bear in mind that's the bit so you wouldn't technically need this let me get rid of that because it's flipped the sign bit and if we just go over again so we've got the bitwise xor or and you know we've got the shifting of the bits as well all good stuff this has been a long video if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video